Hello Udemy, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakzi.com and welcome in lecture number 9. Today we are going to discuss about the dynamic pages and why you need to create the dynamic pages and how can you create the dynamic pages while working on any CMS systems like WordPress, like uh, Drawpal, like uh, Joomla, you always have the sections where you can create your pages. Okay, so now here you know very well about the URL structure, you have, you have to create the controller then method then your argument then your multiple argument okay so in this way your coding letter url works okay so now you learned how can you create the custom url in the roots file okay so here is a roots file roots config in the config folder you have a roots.php file and here you can define your custom roots okay so but you are defining the custom roots here you are this is the not this is not a dynamic root why because we are going to inst we are going to add these slugs or these slugs in the database and we are going to show the page and we are going to create the dynamic slugs okay so how slugs work for suppose this is a controller and this is a method you are saying that every page start like this your your page here so this is a seo friendly url google recommend these type of url so it's also called the slug okay so now how can you do that i am going to show some examples so i'm saying okay so now this is the project i'm saying that this is the url your page here access this because this url is not available so that's why it's showing the 404 error now i'm going to create the same url your page here i'm saying your page here and the content here content here click on this now access the same url so now as you can see it's showing the content here so we have we have to create this we have to define this functionality or we have to design this functionality okay so now okay so we have a database open your php my admin so we have created the aci database and we have uh, in the database dot php file so aci that means advanced ci yeah. But we have not created the any table yet. Open your data grid. You can also create your schema using phpMyAdmin or SQL yoke. But I'm using the data grid. So it's a nice tool to use here to to use your databases. Okay, so now I'm going to delete this. Remove. Okay. So how can you configure? Click on the plus button. We have a MySQL databases and now database name ACI because we are on the local host, so root is the password, root is the username, password is empty, test connections. So definitely, we have a file. So, successful apply, you can use the ACI A C I database for local. Okay, apply. Okay, so now. ACI database local. So you have a schema, you have a empty. Right click, create a table, create a columns first. So how can you create the columns? I'm saying we need only two fields like this. You need the title and you need the text area. And we are going to create the dynamic slug. Okay, I'm saying PID that means page ID it's uh, auto increment and primary key and I'm saying P title or something like that or I'm saying page name it's a var short field var short and I'm saying 200 words it's not no, it's a required fields I'm saying P descriptions uh, I'm saying this is a text field because we are going to assign the text here I'm saying this is a text field 
and now it's it's also not healthy now i am saying p date so date time field also not healthy. you can also define the p status to enable and disable or to in, uh, which is the by default value one now you need a slug fields i'm saying slug p slug so it's also a required fields okay now execute this way open this table so as you can see we have a pid which is auto increment name descriptions date status it's a by default value one we have to create the slug before adding this but before doing this we need a single form like this so how can you do that i'm saying i have a i go uh, I'm going to comment this so we can so you can easily get the code now I'm saying create the page create the or new page I'm saying new page now create the new page in the home directory which is available in the view directory so home directory create a new file fine now copy this code this line of course so we can reuse it okay so now i'm saying go to the page new page home and new page so it's saying okay email and password but what you need i'm saying this is the page name page name i'm saying enter your page name and this is the text area you can also use the form validation or sorry you you can also use the form helper to create your forms for suppose how can you create your forms you can create your forms like this you have to load the forms and then you have to uh, use the forms functions here now we need a title or page name we need a text area so this is a text area and now i have to define the class class which is a form controller and now columns are 10 and the rows are also 10 now i'm going to submit this create page something like this create page so go to the home controller and create a method now what you need just need to uh, fetch these informations from html to your controller but before doing this you have to validate this you can also use the form validation class or you can define your custom functionality i am going to use the form the form validation class so before doing this you have to load the form validation so open so this is the library okay i am saying form validation form validation now here i am saying i am going to set the rules i am saying form validation form validations now i am saying set rules it takes three parameters first the field name this is the field name which is the field name set the error if someone not giving you the fields and this is the required field so you can also use if you have multiple section for suppose text something like this so this is a very basic define your second rule here so i'm saying this is the name name page text or page text this is a page text and i am saying page description or you can say page content t e n t for page content it's also required and now you have to check the form i am saying a form validation give us the error that means we are going to reload this page that means i'm saying 
we are not redirecting here so you have to say this and now this method in the else section you are saying that fine go to the page refresh the page click on this it's redirecting you to the same page if you are giving some information click on this okay page name and page text just a second create page it's a create page sections equals to false just a second create a page you are giving the value click on this it's why it's redirecting okay because we are using the set rules you have to use the set rules go to the page click on this fine 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 okay so now this is the first step you have done the first step in the second step you have to get the code for suppose I'm saying input and now I'm saying post it takes two parameters first is the page name now control D description remove this because we are going to create the model so that's why we are assigning data to a associative array now match these fields with your table so this is the p name so this is the p name copy this bad boy and this is the p descriptions sorry p descriptions now what you need just need to add the date and the p slug so how can you add the date copy this bad boy paste this bad boy here define your date sorry date not data I'm saying that it's a year month and day and the hours minute and the seconds sorry AMP so now you are fine now what you need you just need to define create slug so how can you do that I am saying create slug or SEO URL it's a private function sorry method private method it takes text now call this method here this and I am saying SEO URL send your page name to this method you are sending the method text to this method you are receiving the text to this method now what you need you just need to define the URL now I am saying that uh, str to lower if someone give you the uppercase and this is HTML entities and now provide your text here semicolon assigned to the same variables and now I am saying that str replace it takes few parameters I am saying find the space replace with this and this is your text and now assign the same variables I am saying return the text okay here I am saying echo go to the page refresh the page I am saying this is my page I am saying here is my description click on the button it's saying this is my page so you have created the slug so now you have to change the page this button create the page press the page okay fine create the page 
so now go to the controller and copy this bad boy paste this bad boy here we are saving the data to this variable which is associative array i am saying p slug so now these fields are required name description speed date and slug so we are giving the name description date and the slug and we are saying that the default value is one for the status okay so now what you need you just need to create the model okay so now go to the model create the model so it's a class make sure i'm saying my model my model or i'm saying mod home okay make sure first letter is capital so create this now you have created a model <laughs> now load this to auto load.php file and below you have to load the model i'm saying that mod home we have created the mod home we have set to auto load now i'm saying that I'm going to create I'm saying this mod this mod home now I'm saying the method here now define your method I'm saying public functions and I'm saying check page this is the method and this is the data which is coming from the controller now I'm saying this or you can also directly say db okay I'm saying this sorry this db now I'm saying the okay you have to say that extends to ci model now you have to say that db now I'm saying get fair it takes two parameters first of all the table name and the data i am saying compare with array find the slug and the page name what is the pa uh, table name define your name pages execute you have created the table with the pages name pages now i am saying that define the p and the data with p okay and now i'm saying return now i'm saying i'm creating another method add page you are sending the information from the controller which is the data associative array now i'm saying db insert not insert bash it's an insert it takes two parameters associative array and the page name pages and now return it will return to or form now here i am saying that in the mod home model so this is a mod home model check the method and send the data If you are getting the data check mode or check pages I am saying if you have already the page then what happened otherwise insert the page now copy this bad boy paste this bad boy here for now I am saying add pages add page you are sending the data I am saying Page now I have to check if you have added successfully or not. Supply this variable here and use the custom function. Custom flash data. It takes three parameters. So as you know, now I am saying that this is not an error. But for now, I am saying you have you have successfully created the page and the alert 
and this is a success class and the redirect URL is this now what about else if you are not adding something you have to define your error you cannot or oh, I'm saying danger something went wrong like this something went wrong please try again at the same page now if someone if you have already created the same page I'm saying num rows num rows greater than zero if you are receiving the data from the URL that means I'm saying warning and now define your page you have already defined your error here you have you have already created the page now we are ready to go go to the page refresh the page we are not going giving something and what you need just need to uh, check the flash data here so new page check flash data okay because uh, you you have not you are not using the flash data here but you have to say validation errors okay go to the page refresh the page click on this you have to echo this click on this it's saying page field is required and page content is also required now I'm saying this is my page and I'm saying this is my description create the page you have successfully created the page now go to the database open the page you have a p name description and where is the slug p slug okay i am saying modify the table so it's not an integer it's a or short field I'm saying 250 or you can also use the text execute fine once again I'm saying my page my page create the page go to the database so you have added the slug but if you are using the same slug my page so it's not gonna work why don't worry I'm going to tell you because this slug is not available for doing this you have to define your slug how you have to create the extra file in the cache so here is your cache cache in the cache you have to create a file name routes okay click on this you have created the uh, routes file here but it's it's the empty file and now go to the home page before doing this you have to create a private method so i'm saying that private function and now the function name is save routes or routes so it totally depend upon you how you pronounce okay so now what you need just need to fetch all the slugs from the database and you need to write all the database in the routes.php file which we have just created in the cache file okay so how can you do that I'm saying this mod which mod I'm saying home now I'm saying get all rows or get all routes and I'm going to store this information in the routes folder routes 
or root folder now go to the model create a method with the same name and now you have to call this method this db get where now i have to say that uh, where it takes two parameter i have to say that where p status p status underscore status equals to one from pages and now return but make sure i'm returning as a array so that's why i'm saying result array make sure this is a method so that's why we have to call the method now you are fetching all the informations from the database now what you need you just need to define a uh, array i'm saying i'm going to store all the array in the this data so that's why i have created the empty array now what you need i'm saying i'm going to check the routes which is coming from the database make sure it's we are fetching all the results as a array so that's why we are saying not empty if it's not empty then i'm saying data which we have just created this is the data variables and now we are going to assign something here how i'm saying php if for the php uh, this is the security reason so that's why i'm saying if not defined which defined i'm saying forward slash one i'm saying another one now i have to say that base path if base path is not defined then what gonna happen close this because these two curly braces and this is if braces then i'm saying exit with a small letter and now oh sorry one and then one here i'm saying no direct script access allowed okay now what happens you have to use the semicolon here now fetch all the information using for each loop how i'm saying all the information from the roots as roots okay now i'm assigning the data using array so how now i'm creating the dynamic array so this is the dynamic array <laughs> it's not a dynamic it's a dynamic roots so i'm saying roots and this braces and now i have to say that this is one then i'm saying that uh, this this and of course this okay now i'm saying using this route just call just call the p and slug make sure this is the p slug so now okay fine now i'm saying equals to and now i'm going to create the pages controller create the pages controller here but uh, i will create it for now i'm saying that this is the page controller pages and now it's a single dot 
with backslash sorry forward backslash and uh, after that the index method so this is the index method so in the index methods i am saying i have the dynamic groups but in this time it's a pid 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 so after that just dot concatenate with this and now at the end of this you have to use colon and a single file again call now you have created the dynamics slug so what you need you just need to add after the array i'm saying this is the output and i'm going to assign the output as a implode and now i'm saying find the big slash and now give all the data to this bad boy semicolon now you have to write all the data in this file so how can you do that but before doing this you have to load the file helper because this is the method write file before calling this you have to load i'm saying app path app path app path we have a cache folder in the cache folder we have a routes.php file or the routes.php file and your output goes here this output okay now your semicolon and what happened before doing this you have to load the open your config auto load and uh, the helper find your helper so this is your helper use the file helper so load the file helper so you have loaded the file helper so now fine so what you need you just need to call this method when you insert in the database i'm saying this and this method fine what's going on when you insert the data in the database then you are creating the dynamic roots how by calling this private method so you are calling all the data from the database first of all storing in the variable creating another array variables and you are checking if the entries is available which is coming from the database now you are just creating like this uh, open your config and this is this is good okay so you are saying that oh please add this then you are fetching all the data from the database you are creating the dynamics roots and you are using the implode functions which convert the data from the array into the text field you are writing the text field in this file so now you have multiple entries so as you can see i have already added multiple entries so i'm going to delete all the entries control a control y control enter so i ha i have deleted all the entries so now refresh the page i'm saying this is my page okay now i'm saying here is my page description before doing this just check this routes.php file it's now empty go to the page click on this you have successfully added and now open this file as you can see you are currently adding the script but it's showing you the error why it's showing you the error because you are missing this field this braces so open this file and now as you can see you are just adding this but you are not closing this braces here so this okay so now once again go to the page i'm saying 
this is my another page and I'm saying this is my another description create the page now go to the page as you can see click on this now it's fine you are adding the dynamic URLs so before doing this what you need you just need to add the file in the this file and uh, config file and include this file here why you are doing this because you have to add the file here so your coding writer knows that oh these are also the files i'm saying required require once and add the app path in the app path i'm saying i have a cache folder in the cache i have a routes.php file or roots.php file you have added now go to the page refresh the page and okay why it's giving us error because you have this code in the config go to the config file open the roots.php file you have this line of code available at the top of your file and we are adding the same file so these this script is conflicting with this script so that's why it's giving us the error so what you need just need to remove this line of code okay fine then please remove for now comment this and now it's a private make sure it's this person. okay so now what you need you just need to go to the home file and uh, now create another page now another page here create page you have successfully created my okay go to the routes open this file okay i'm saying first and second content here click on this edit file open the file it it's giving us this okay so now what you need just need to add this here go to the page refresh the page so now at the top of your code as you can see it's showing us the string so you don't allow the string so what that mean that means you have to write this script at the top of your file okay now once again repeat this so in this way you can you can con you can debug your code so now refresh the page it's fine or just fine i'm saying my mom is my life something like this click on this so okay fine now open the routes.php file as you can see you have just added these three fields one two three four and go to the database one two three four so these slugs available now in the database so what you need okay now what you need you just need to copy this content slug and paste this slug here now you are accessing the slug or the page make sure this page this slug is not available why because you are saying that go to the pages controller and create you are creating the dynamic routes so now go to the controller create a method controller sorry create a controller i'm saying this this is pages and now i'm saying expands to ci controller now i'm going to create an index method make sure this is your 
sending the one parameter so that's why you have to receive the one parameters here now you just need to copy this content here and paste this content here and now you have to call the model you have to check that this url is exist or not so how can you check that i'm saying that uh, this mode home make sure this is our model and i'm going to check check by page id page id make sure this is the id so this is the id so that's why you have to check by id and pass the url here now i'm saying i'm going to create this page id in the model sorry this method i'm saying public functions and now i am saying that get where and in this time i'm saying that this is the pid pid and pass the url here url because you are passing the one parameter from the controller so that's why you have to receive one parameter here so okay fine make sure we are receiving the data as a array okay so now go to the page and store this information in a uh, associative array or in a single variable so you can easily pass this variable to the view okay so now i am saying pages okay now i am saying that i am going to send this information to this view create your view i am saying pages make sure in the home i have a pages file so home create a file named pages and now you have to define your script here i'm saying that this is a controller sorry container and you specify a row and now i'm saying i have specify a column call md12 now i'm saying this is the h1 okay so you are sending the data from the controller so that's why you have to use that data here i'm saying echo which data in the pages so your pages and make sure this is the variables and uh, this is the variable and now i'm saying p name that means i'm talking about the page name and uh, here is the p and now copy this bad boy bad paste this bad boy here i'm saying page description so as you can see right click modify table so this is the column name so column name goes here now go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's saying undefined offset why it's saying undefined offset because we are sending the data in the pages be with your code that what's coming from the database okay fresh it's saying die is okay fresh the page nothing is happening because this is my name and we are sending the data go to the model okay because this is the associative array it takes associative array now it's fine so you have you can debug like this i forgot that the second parameter is the associative array so that's why we are receiving we are not receiving the data so now remove this and come in all the code and you have to come in this also go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's saying this is my page and here is your description so in this way you can create the dynamics pages using coding neither so let me explain what we have 
done we have created the dynamic pages so this is the home and this is the we have created the method in the home controller so here is your home controller and now as you can see we have two fields we are just sending the data from the html and here we are receiving the data from the html which is the page name and the descriptions we are validating the form using the form validations class and now we are creating the slug because slug is necessary okay so using this method we are creating the slug okay now when you insert the data in the database we are creating the dynamics uh, routes we have created the routes or roots.php file in the cache okay so he here as you can see we have created now we are calling the save roots method here as you can see we have called the all data from the database we are assigning the empty array we are checking the either the data is coming or not from the database so here we are adding the php and here we are fetching all the data from the variables and we are creating the dynamic routes and here we are converting the data from array to string and we are writing the data in the file we have created in the cache and we have included th this file here require once a path so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to some cover other topics so thank you for watching